In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture in today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 46, through to chapter 13, verses 3a. While he was still talking to the multitudes, behold, his mother and brothers stood outside seeking to speak with him. Then one said to him, Look, your mother and br your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak with you. But he answered and said to the one who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? He stretched out his hands towards his disciples and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. On the same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the sea, and great multitudes were gathered together to him so that he got into a boat and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. Then he spoke many things to them in parables. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Open our eyes to your words, to your teachings, that we can truly understand what you are telling us. In the scripture reading today, some people may find it a little bit off-putting the way that Jesus spoke with regards to his mother and brothers who were waiting to speak to him. But what he is trying to say to us all is not being disrespectful to his mother. No. But what he is trying to say to us is, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And he stretched out his hand towards his disciples and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. He's talking about us. If we do the will of the Father in heaven, we are his brothers and sisters and, and mother. That's the important thing. That is the message he's saying to us here. We must follow him. Obey the scriptures. Obey the teachings of Jesus Christ. And for many of us, it is very difficult, especially in this world that keeps us pulling us away from him, keeps on pulling us away from going to church and praying and worshipping God. But we must keep going. When Jesus said to us to take up our cross and follow him, it wasn't going to be an easy road for us. Far from it. Carrying a cross also means living a difficult life in following Jesus. A cross is an instrument of torture and finally death. Death to ourselves, death to the world. That is what we are taking on our shoulders. Stop turning away from God. Turn away from the world and following the world and its influences. Stop worrying about where your next door is coming from. Promotions of work. Self-glory is not what we are after. 
We are after glorifying God in what we do every day. Not to make that almighty dollar or to buy that new home or car or whatever luxuries you're aiming for. But one day you'll have that call and you'll die. So what good is it building up treasures here on earth when we will be taken away? We then face that judgment day. Yes, all of us do. Where we've got to answer for all that we do during our lives. We have to answer for those times that we've turned our backs on God. But we must go on. We must never give up. We all fall many times in our lives. Yes, we will, all of us. We are a sinful people. But we must become a repentant people. Repenting for all those times we have failed to carry out the teachings of Jesus Christ and being his true disciples. Repent every day. Read the scriptures every day. Pray. Meditate on the word. Get to know God through Jesus Christ. If we know Jesus Christ, we know God the Father too. They are one and the same. The Holy Spirit is there to help us, to guide us to open our eyes to the words of God through the scriptures. Stop what you're doing now. Turn your backs on the world. Yes, repent of your sins every day. We are human. We are weak. We must call on God to help us through the Holy Spirit. He will, he will help us. Just ask. And never forget to give God the glory every day for all things. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon us. Stay with us always.